soon you'll see it. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I am too. Oh, let me. I see the screen, I do not see the game. That's good, because the game's open. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I hate everything. Are you doing display capture or whatever? I think I am. Unless I. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I think I might have that clicked off. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I have the eye closed. Oh. There it is. The game's up. You can see yep. my excellent save file name. Kanye saves, yes. Kanye yes, saves. Kanye saves. Ever Kanye is there. Can I get a hot tub? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody said anything already or not. Nope, nobody's in the chat yet, except me. Except you. And I see your little koala high, because I have to look at my phone for it. <laughs> yeah. And there's Anna. Hello, Anna. Hey, Anna. Hope you can hear myself as well as V A O K. Do what? I was just saying I hope that she can hear both yourself and my myself. <laughs> Yes, hopefully we are all here in hearing range. I well, said hi to us both. So that's good. <clears throat> oh, cool, cool. Thanks. Thank you very much, Anna. No, I think we're, so we're supposed to go talk to that projectionist guy, but... Yeah. You know, I, I gotta go look at something real quick. I just Some, realized something very that, important. Okay, I just realized that there's that poster. No, he's not there. Like fork. How are you going to look at Nicholas? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> are you a Nicholas fanboy? <laughs> I honestly don't know anything about him. I'm just playing it's it up. Cargo shorts. I, I, I know. I know. Reveal my secrets. The the run the the run -suple? <laughs> Yeah, it's got like a spork. I, I see that. Is this I don't know if I've ever noticed that. Oh. Uh, and next to that is navel gazing. Uh, yeah, I guess those people are gonna gaze at navels. That's not creepy. As long as it's like consensual Cons I guess. Consensual navel gazing. Yeah. How exciting. <laughs> and then there's that, wanna, there's that movie you're, poster. You just don't want to gaze at navels without permission. And then, of course, there's the classic movie, Yak. Yeah, my fave. I know. You've told me before. <laughs> to totally. I bring it up all the time. I just noticed the spork thing, too, V. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see it that when I played it before. Well, I'm glad yeah. I, I started the, the game looking at it. <laughs> so you both could uh, enjoy. Oh, I need to be a good mod. Oh. Um, shout outs. Don't forget to shout out Double Bubs. Got him. Hey, cat. Oh, well, that's perfect. Well, I mean, if you're just watching on YouTube, why would you want to watch it again? <laughs> hey, Kat, we were literally just talking about how great it is to uh, gaze at navels, according to that... Uh, to this movie poster. poster navel gazing. <clears throat> I can't read well, because <laughs> I read way as wazy. I'm like, I don't even know what wazy means. T and V commentary are wazy better. Wazy. Like, so, so much better. It's way crazy. Wazy. <laughs> and you're welcome for the shout outs, guys. Thank you for shouting out. Thank you for shouting out these lovely peoples. 
You're welcome. I they're, try to remember to do that, and I sometimes forget. They're pretty fantastical. And we got that to do, too. Yeah. All right. Dancing with your koala emote. Dancing. Well, thanks for shouting out me. Nancy, take a look at this. You're welcome. You deserve it. Thank you. Where did you find it? Brady found it. This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? I will be right. I should think so. Give the police the a room call. and run back. And then you better go back to your hotel and get some. Bye. Rest. Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. You won't be any help to my if you get too tired to think. Well, I guess you have a point there. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. I was getting my blanket because I'm cold. It must be from how cold I am about everything. What? What? No. I'm cold and indifferent about so much. <laughs> it probably just makes it cold to be around me. Yeah, I can feel the breeze. I thought so. Hey, look at this. Look at this movie poster in the distance. Does that say Neo? Or does it say Ned? <laughs> I, I think it says Ned. Looks like Neo. <laughs> Hello, Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Looks like Neo. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. But which telephone did you want me to use? Ah, there are two in the ticket booth. I think there's only one you can... I don't know who I was supposed to call. <laughs> uh, the police. Oh. Sting, are you there? Oh, I just got that. I was like, what? St. Louis Police Department. Missing persons unit, please. Please all missing persons, this is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey, this is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend. One thing about this game I that, that I don't true, love no, is that the she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I go on the forever. You asked for. What did you find? That's okay. I'm only kinda of paying attention to them. <laughs> it was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass. And she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the pass damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear of their own accord, and they reappear when they're good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? <coughs> is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Haddad is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations? Nicholas Falcone! Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. How dare. He'll do just about anything to save the theater, and he's not afraid Thanks for shutting out, bro. Tactics. By the what way. Kind of extreme oh, tactics? no problem. You name it. Sabotage, it looked like Ned from one screen, and then it looked more like Neo when you went one step closer. It's an illusion! Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes I don't know why the police would go into such great detail about this other person and a suspect on things. I feel like they wouldn't to a stranger. 
Hi, Anne. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging Hi, this thing? Anne. I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator. Why are you murdering Nicole? I, I don't know. I guess I was just bored with this conversation that I'm having with the police officer. I see. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join Rude. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I don't, I don't think a police officer would go into such extreme detail about... <laughs> Somebody's track record. No good track record and just either. general life story. <laughs> With a literal stranger on the phone. Yep. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've suspension of disbelief. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Your student's playing with sand that I should not be on my phone. Well, I appreciate you stopping by for a little bit. Sorry you can't stay longer. Um, I hope that you have fun watching Sam get played with. <laughs> Hopefully it's not messy. At least it's not like when you go to the beach and you just get sand everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't hate the beach, but that is definitely one reason that I don't go to the beach like all the time. is because <laughs> sand everywhere. It's just... It just stays with you. Just when you think it's all gone. Much like glitter. There's just more that yeah. you find. <laughs> it's like you you know how like they'll have like the little you know when you get like off the beach back onto like the parking lot or like the pier or something. And so you like rinse off and you think you're good and then you and you're like changing clothes and it's just like sand pouring out of everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Like you're a timer that just busted open. Yeah. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Thanks for listening to my whole conversation on the phone. Yeah, wasn't that, isn't that creepy as heck? <laughs> like he was just outside the door with his ear pressed up again. Yep. Why are there protesters in a small town like this? Ooh, flowers. Deepest sympathy. Planning a funeral is such a dreadful pain. Wouldn't you rather just stop the demolition? Nah. Joe would do that. Yeah. <laughs> I kept, she said Joe, and I know that the old man's name is Joe. But I was, I was thinking of Joe Hardy. <laughs> oh, and you're like... Like, m maybe? I don't know his character that well. <laughs> oh, the moose next door. The moose? That's what it said, the moose next door. Oh, I see. Missing, missing. I don't have m meese in my part of the states. <laughs> She says, and then she hiccups. Yeah, I have hiccups now. I drank my coffee, and now I have hiccups. Joe would do that. Joe Hardy would deaf eavesdrop, especially on Nancy. <laughs> <clears throat> For Frank's benefit. <laughs> um, so, now we have this missing poster of Maya. So that's cool. There used to be, after I'd watch like some random show late at night, um, they would have, I think it was a legitimate show, but it was on like 2 or 2.30 in the morning, so I don't think many people watched it, but it just kind of gave you like an update on like people that are missing and people who are still being looked for. <laughs> um, and... The, the like, sort of like in between thing. Hey Hammer, how's it going? Good to, good to see you. Thanks for, the host. I assume that's Hammer hosting me. I'm guessing I though. Will tell you in just a moment. Uh, I don't know because it's behind your game. Oh yeah, I didn't fix that. Good for me. <laughs> Welp. Uh, 
Um, then we'll it's okay. fix that now, I guess. I'm doing good, Hammer. There. I'm doing okay. But I did fix it. So it's a fixing things hype, not a not fixing things hype. Yeah, I fixed it. Probably fixed it. I'm sorry you had to see that wreath, Nancy. It's disgusting. I'm afraid Maya's in real danger. Well, let's hope the kidnapper just did this to scare you. So yeah, they had the they had the show at like two or two thirty in the morning that was just about missing people and all that kind of stuff. But we were always amused by it because we would just the little like in between when they're like between like stories about people who went missing. They'd be like, missing, missing. And then when they got through with the story, they were like, they're still missing, missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just strange. I mean, why would the kidnapper go to the trouble to have that thing arranged and delivered here? The phone's been ringing off the hook all day. How are you, Hammer? I don't know how the press got a hold of this, but they're all over it like ants on a picnic. And how are you, Anna? How are you, Cat? And... How are you, Brooke? I didn't. I don't think I asked anybody because I'm rude. <laughs> super. You were just mystery. Super rude. And how are you, V? I'm doing pretty good. They are those off. Missing posters come from. I can't say for sure, but I can make an educated guess. I have to paint my a uh, room in my house later to. Why do you have to do that? Well, I don't have to, but I offered to. <laughs> You're rude. I know. <laughs> You're rude. Um, you no, it just needs to be done, Hollywood so I offered to do it. Now? So after she the way she diverted all of the attention on that? away from Maya and used the poster to promote Brady as the big hero, it's sad that it's all that you won't be streaming after I stream. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might stream later tonight home if I get all my all the painting done at a decent <laughs> time. <laughs> Which will probably be the time that I can't watch. <laughs> oh, maybe. Um, I'm painting it. It's like a it's taupe, so it's like a brown gray. I don't know how to describe. <laughs> like a taupe. Like a taupe. Taupe. Gotta go now. Chin up. Holland's brothers call me Topi. And sometimes Holland. I was wondering if there was going to be more to that, or I was just... <laughs> because of this episode... Um... There's... Uh, there's a host happening right now, so if you could inform me. Oh. If... I think it I... Is Kat, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it. She's hosting from the the Double Bubs uh, account. Very kind of her. Um, the they call me Topi because there's this one episode of Victorious that they crossed over with iCarly, and um, basically the premise of the episode is that Carly and Tori find out that they have the same boyfriend and he's been playing them both um and he's like a big butthead you know and he gets them engraved bracelets with their names on them and he uh gets the engraving wrong on Tori's and it says Topi on her hers and uh why they call me Topi Nancy, what's the 411? Oh, look, Nicholas is back. He is back. Cargo store handles. You didn't tell me kidnapping was part of activism 101. That's all hearsay, Nancy. They got no witnesses, no testimony, no nothing. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Kidnapping to further your causes in the past. 
I am not an eco-terrorist, and I would never orchestrate the temporary disappearance of anyone who wasn't in on the plan. Hey, Disney, how's it going? Good morning, Disney. Maybe you'd better think about being in on the law and down with the truth, Nicholas. All right, Officer Nancy, chill out. Thank you for. I'm on your side. Thank you for shouting out Disney. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Tell me about your relationship with the police. All I know is they like to dig through my garbage. And Feels great. Does this face say America's most wonderful? I think it's the most amusing outcome, to be honest with you, uh, Disney. <laughs> Just so, just so you, you're filled in, uh, V, not that it's all that an important thing to even mention, but mm -hmm. uh, what Disney is asking is the fact that the winning quarterback of yesterday's Super Bowl, as well as the, uh, <laughs> I believe he was the MVP of the Super Bowl too, um, was a player that the Bears decided to pass on picking up. <laughs> Ooh, big ouch. I think it's funny. <laughs> that they passed up on him, and then he winds up going all the way to the Super Bowl and winning the Super I bet Bowl. You, I bet you they are kicking themselves. And we got kind of like a reject guy instead. <laughs> I got nowhere to talk because the Browns could have had a rock and he beat up better <laughs> than the 20 we've had. That's fair. And true. Joseph told me that the St. Louis Historical Society is in the process of trying to declare this building an historical landmark. They've been in that process for years. It's all just a big wad of red tape. Also, the commercials yesterday, lackluster. Yeah, that's what I heard, that they weren't, like, super great. There was, like, a couple good ones. Oh, I'm mad. I wouldn't even say a couple. There was, like, one. <laughs> one or two. Wow. I thought the Snickers one was good. I'm going to watch the compilation this week cuz I pretty much missed all of it yesterday. Well, you were but... you were uh what? Shuttling all over the place? Yeah, I was we didn't have a shuttle driver last night, but we had two people on the desk and I'm authorized to drive the shuttle, so I was shuttled today, which was fun, don't get me wrong, I kind of liked it. Um <laughs> Yeah. Wow, Disney. <laughs> Family friendly. <laughs> okay, apparently uh, Janet Jackson was Disney's favorite. Halftime yeah, show. probably his favorite halftime show right there. Groundhog okay, Day was good. Oh yeah, there was a Groundhog Day uh, commercial. Somebody was telling me. Which Bill Murray lives in my town, y'all. Fun fact. Yeah, and he won't stop with the Cubs in my town, so. He won't what? He won't stop with the Cubs in my town. What do you mean? He's just apparently like a diehard Chicago Cubs fan. Oh. Disney says the heart wants what the heat wants. I don't know. <laughs> I, Flip or I, 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 I hope that wasn't a typo. <laughs> yeah, there was like a groundhog jeep commercial or something groundhog day yeah. jeep commercial i'm like okay <laughs> that was a movie that was a thing <laughs> i'm pretty sure that was just a freudian slip disney <laughs> <laughs> also hey good. heartless thanks for shouting out heartless oh you're welcome yeah ground uh in other news from yesterday, the Groundhog's predicting early spring. Well, Watch him be super wrong because he's just a dumb Groundhog. The Groundhog just knows about global warming. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's become apparent that you're terrible at math and spelling. Hey, I'm sure you're terrible at other things too. <laughs> Don't just limit yourself to those two things. Have you seen the posters? Aren't they fabulous? That picture of Maya is the one from her press pass, isn't it? Yes. Thankfully, she's voted. Yeah, <laughs> you will end me. <laughs> Maybe you're terrible at that too, so it won't happen. <laughs> that poster is just an advertisement for Brady. 
Maya's on the poster. It says she's missing. So what's your issue? Brady's out plastering those posters all over St. Louis and every podunk town for 50 miles. He's due back at any time, though, for the press conference. Press conference? Press conference. I've invited the press here today to report on Brady's commitment to solving this case. You know, a few questions, a few <coughs> photo ops, no big deal. That funeral wreath was awful, wasn't it? What do you know about that wreath? I had it moved out front for the press conference. We want the press to know just how heartless this kidnapper is, don't we? Heartless? And it's all the more fabulous when Brady they just saves did it. the day. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. HS did it. You don't know if you can imagine me driving a giant shuttle bus. I mean, I'm in the massive shuttle, but it was still good. But but she but she has the books on the seat and the books for the brakes and the <laughs> so she's fine. She can reach everything. How long have you been Brady's agent? Uh, I discovered him on. An electric spring morning six years ago. He was working the original Coney Dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. It was pure luck. I was craving an all beef Frank at 7 a.m. He's been the jewel in my crown ever since. Oh, uh, it's okay. As long as you say, my bad. Kidnapping's fine. <laughs> High chair? Yep. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting on a. She was uh, she was sitting on seat. she was sitting on a high chair because she was also hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Always hungry. And that's just her preferred way of eating, just sitting in a high chair. <laughs> I can imagine um, it because I bet V can do anything. And it's so sweet. V can do a lot. Um. I am 5'3". How tall are you, Disney? I think your phone's about to ring by now. You're 5'5"? Five five. Yeah, you're not too much taller than me, then. I think there's very little to continue on what Anna said that V can't do, at the very least, well. <laughs> Um, there's and she, a lot that I can't do well. And she um, excels at so many other things. There are legit some cars I can't drive because I'm too short to reach the pedals. Uh, thankfully, the um, like the sh it has like an electric seat, so I can scoot it all the way up. <laughs> <clears throat> um, there are a lot of things that I can't draw. Uh, what are you talking about? You're fine in those games like draw hole and. But um, like, if I um, were to like legit um, try to do pat, like artwork, patently stupid. That was a good one too. <laughs> it, the, but those are for like funny, like funny games. Like if I were legit trying to do like, it would not go well. Um, I uh, I um. I mean, it's just one of those things that takes a lot of commitment to doing it too. Yeah. Same like, with like dancing. Like I can. What are you talking? No, fun. no, no! You're you're but a pro dancer. I could like I actually have been passed up on certain acting roles because I don't I can't dance. <laughs> That's like legit. I'm not even joking about that. Yeah, but you can get passed on for like such random stuff for gigs and whatnot. Yeah. Like stuff that you can't even help. <laughs> yeah. The what they were doing. Thank you. <laughs> um, I I mean I assume that if I if I wanted to like go take like, like dance lessons, I know I would get better. Um, but that's just not something that I uh have done ever. Um. Five three is the average height for women in the U.S. So like not even that short. I suppose I'm one of the sh I'm probably the shortest in my like friend group. At girls go. Um, I think the only the short mom group. <laughs> um, there are. I mean, of course, I've met girls that are shorter than me. Like Oxel is shorter than me. I think Heartless Shroom is shorter than me. So like I know that there I have friends girls that are shorter than me. But like typically I'm 
usually the shortest in my friend group. Um, so, like, Holland is taller than me. Uh, my friend Jillian is taller than me. Um, all of the ladies I work with at work are taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> and yay, welcome back, in. Welcome back, Anne. Um, hmm. Just kind of aimlessly wandering right now. <laughs> um, you'll need to make sure you talk to everybody about the, um... I don't know where Brady is. Make sure on that wanted poster that's up on the door of the projection room, make sure you zoom in on all of the details. Because some conversation topics. Oh. <laughs> I feel like... When you click on it, it should just give you all the information. Cause yeah. that would make sense. Aimlessly wandering, aka in the bread and butter. If that ain't the truth. I got to me excited when I meet a woman sure that I am. I have cauliflower, <laughs> carrots, and potatoes for lunch. That sounds very healthy. I think the important thing is this part, the But it's just kind of weird because, you know, when you talk about it to his agent, you it's clear she looked at the reward thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> she mentions it, too. And I think if everybody is gone, like when all the characters disappear, they're doing the press conference thing. Any signs and you can go, um, go into up. the... the uh, ticket booth where the phone is and and what eavesdrop oh. by going into the ticket booth and thinks Oxel is her shortest friends Maya is 5'5 five five, same as Disney that's yeah, crazy yeah I think Ox inch or two shorter than me I got the number I left it in the ticket booth. This woman isn't a Houdini herself. Oh, She's one of Houdini's cousins. Of Houdini's cousins. I remember mm -hmm. CJ or somebody was called her and go. No. Hmm. Was it Ghost Talks? No. I don't know. Somebody uh, was called. Eustacia and Drop what? Off? Eustacia and Drop Off? Maybe. <laughs> You you do talk to her again in Ghost Dogs, so that then might that have would been be her. Brooke was playing. <laughs> yeah, then it was Brooke who was playing it. I hope that you enjoy your homework and lurking. <laughs> but it hurt to get One of those things might be better than the other. Homework is bleh. Did you call? What's the story? Not yet. So what are you waiting for? The wrecking crew to bust in and dial the number for you? Such sass. <laughs> you only have one friend who is taller than me? I am very average. <laughs> I'm on day two, whatever that means. <laughs> you, there are three days because the um the theater gets demolished at the end of day three. Oh, <gasps> and that's when the moon crashes into the land. Yep, this is ma the Majora's Mask of uh, Nancy Drew games. Ned Jora's Mask. Um, your stage name? I'm thinking Samantha Quick. You love yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Having a taller, younger sister is great. Everyone assumes you're the Bobby. I'm taller than my brother. <laughs> I think Me and Sarah are like the exact same Love height. You. I noticed that. <laughs> you said you're taller than your brother? I am. By how much? Not a lot. Oh, okay. A couple inches. Ah, ah. 
<laughs> Searching for things. Uh, my sister had that problem. I thought you were the babby agent. Well, I, I never thought that she was. <laughs> so at least I figured that much out. <laughs> And I'm glad that you're able to be here during your early lunch, Ben. J.J. Thompson. J.J. Thompson. Oh, yeah. Anna. That, so me and my sister are the same height, but we are four and a half years apart in, in age. I'm the older, she's the younger. But I've always looked younger than I am, and she's always looked a little older than she is. So everybody always thought we were twins. Twinsies. Uh, I'm taller than your sister, but four years younger, so when she was visiting colleges, I got dragged along. People kept trying to sign me in and give me literature and whatnot. <laughs> and then you like, and then you said, readings for nerds, and then just slammed their <laughs> literature to the ground. <laughs> I am on day two, at the start of day two, toward the start of day two. I guess I should just do the call thing now, because nobody's saying yeah, anything new. Yeah, you can new. go eavesdrop on the press conference. Or you can call Eustacia. I guess I'll call Eustacia. Nancy drew the Snoopy one. I love how I have to call it myself. Like, she hasn't, it doesn't do it automatically for me. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the patootie. Just like life, eh? <laughs> uh, there. I think I left my pen in the bathroom. I'm just gonna leave it there. In case somebody has to write down something on toilet paper, you're helping out. What are you laughing about? <laughs> Ew. Hey. At least they're not using other things to write with. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. I thought I had to put in the area code. <laughs> yeah. I was just limited to the amount of days I was forced to. Who would do something like that to you? I can't imagine. Forgot the one the first time I did it. Everyone else is dead. I'm sorry to bother you. Don't worry, Anne. There'll be there'll be plenty more dabs, I'm sure. Oh, I beg your pardon. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case in St. Louis. Carrie was only my cousin by marriage, but my husband is dead. So it's Carly. Oh, I guess that makes Hi, Carly. I hope that you're doing well as well. Would you know anything about this? He owns it. Travel it anyway. For a few months. Then he died. Does that help? Do you know what happened to his half? Did he sign it back over to J.J. Thompson? Return it to James Jehuzafat? Mr. Suspended? Not on his life. Losing that man was Harry's greatest escape. Did someone in Houdini's family inherit the theater? Conversation. Perhaps a protege. I remember my husband telling me this. 
Did I hear Montana? Yeah. She came in and laid down beside me. Aw, Montana loves you. She had a vet appointment this morning. Aw, those are never fun. But she's healthy. That's good. Maybe my only hope of saving her. All the Library of Congress. Ask about the Houdini collection. There must be I'm doing good, Carly. I'm okay. Sherman Trout, you say she said. You are not dead yet, Sherman. So get up and make yourself useful. The Library of Congress. You don't happen to have that number, do you? <laughs> well, I should have this letter from Sherman around here somewhere. Thanks, Mrs. Andropov. You've been a Montana. great help. Save us for my Montana. Funeral. Anna says hi. She just looked at me and put her head back down. Well, that sounds... You're welcome, Anna. Manuscripts? Uh, I'm trying to reach Sherman Trout, please. Speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Mr. Trout. My name is Nancy Drew. I'm a detective working on a case that involves Harry Houdini and the Royal Palladium Theater in St. Louis. Eustacia and drop off. I'm all right. This is my first day off after my long working weekend, so I'm just relaxing. Gonna go to the library later. Well, I'm glad that you have your day off, and I hope that the library trip later is a lovely. Mr. Trout, I'm very interested. The second series for the year. Nice. Well, you'll just need to cool. With the library when you get here and fill out a request for the material. You're you dreading having to do stuff this or like having stuff to do. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. That's most unfortunate. I hope it passes Mr. by Trout, very quickly for you, Brooke. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to come to Washington DC to do research. I'm hoping you could help me find Unless you want to just randomly pay my way to Washington DC and give me lodging and give me money for doing nothing. <laughs> the Library of Congress currently holds over 40 million items contained in 10,000 separate collections. It's the largest and most comprehensive library in the world. I simply don't have time to run research errands for the individual citizens. Mr. Trout, if I don't solve this case, pet the puppies. Hours, Go pet the those puppies. Standing and will be demolished in an <laughs> it's the only reason Anna wants to get a better hand on her sleep schedule to pet puppies. And it's legit. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it's a good motivation. By someone desperate to save this One of her best motivations. What can you possibly be hoping to find in the Houdini collection that would help matters? Mr. Houdini was part owner of the theater, and I'm trying to find out who inherited his half or what became of it when he died. Book 28. Dang, you're really getting reading done this this year. Whoa. I'm on book two. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've read. I'm about to finish my first book of the year and start my second book. If you find anything, could you overnight it to me at the Royal Palladium? Well, I certainly can't send you the document itself. It's a historical artifact now, but I could send you a slide. What's the street address there, if I find anything? It's 1330 Washington Avenue, St. Also, Louis, Missouri. Also, you know how Missouri, excited I am about the fact that it's a leap month? Please, send the package in care of Nicholas Falcone. Or no. Myself, <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful Are I am. Are you excited about it? You might just be a yeah, it's saver. fun. Is there any reason why you're excited about it? <laughs> Much. Fun and exciting when it's a leap year. But uh, like, do you do anything on the the extra day? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know if like there was just like this this super fun thing you only do once every four years no. or whatever <laughs> a leap no. day. She leaves. This is true. Jumps. <laughs> leaps for joy. Leaps for yays.
Uh, your books are on the shorter side, except for Game of Thrones. I just started when my client is sleeping. I have time to read. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Pet and Puppies is best. Kind of argue with that. Did you call? What's the story? Sure did. Go on, spill it. She didn't know much, but she gave me the number of this guy at the Library of Congress who has access to the archives of Houdini's letters. And what did they say? I thought you'd be more excited the fact that it's a leap month, but also because of the event that's coming up on Friday. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's nothing special. I don't know. I think it's pretty special. Well... One year closer to the grave. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, got, it's got darker. <laughs> Looking for a sec. I've been bombarded with emails. Gotcha. Enjoy your lurk. I really want another cat, but also my mom already has a lot on her plate when I'm not here. <laughs> yep, it's my burp day on Friday. She says with such excitement and enthusiasm in her voice <laughs> after saying, when you're closer to the grave. I'll just like, I'll get you a cake with that on it. <laughs> How happy, old will I be? 13? You got it. Happy birthday. You got it. Happy birthday. You're closer to death. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yep, Ooh, how... 13. 13. 13 going on 30. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's pretty dang, pretty dang close. Sherman Trout is on our side. Keep your eyes peeled for a special delivery. I will be, um, <clears throat> 27 Friday. Can you believe Brady's agent has called this press conference to trump up his heroics? He Somewhat oddly calculated the revolutions of the planet no around worry, the Sunday. Nancy. Thank this you. This cowboy will be on the scene with a megaphone in each holster. I guarantee you the press will get more than they bargained for. Catch you later. Catch, Catch you later. later. On the flip side. Catch you later. Okay. No, you won't. <laughs> no, I won't. What? Catch you later. Oh. Well, I mean, my I was birthed in the year 1993, so that would be the long ago, half. the long ago and far away year of 1993. <laughs> it's 27 years ago now, so math would would dictate. Oh uh, well, that ex that explains Disney. it. Disney's not very good at math. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to surprise party for a friend of mine on Friday, but it ain't even his birthday for another four <laughs> weeks, so I think I'd you be. Just say Thank it's, you very much, Nicole. Thanks, just say it's V's surprise birthday party that she's Nicole's not... Nicole's 27th birthday is coming up soon. It's true. It's what? Uh, the 16th, I think. 17th or 16th? Or 18th. 16th it's, or 18th? Uh, I think... Is it 10 days after that? Or is that Angel's birthday that's 10 days after yours? I think Angel's is 10 days after mine, which would be the 17th. Like, their birthdays are so close to each other, I just kind of... Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of mix up the, the two. Or the 16th. In one of those. <laughs> You also breathed your first breath, <laughs> breathed your first breath in 1993. I remember you told me that. One day after Angel got you. One day I'm after. Gonna, since, there you go. Since I'm going to be 27, have you started? Yeah, I uh, found a good one. They'll take me on my 28th day, so I have one more year. We got one more year until she's locked away forever. I mean, <laughs> put in a home. <laughs> yes, this yes, movie poster does, does have a spork on it. Yes, it does. One day after Angel. Gotcha. So, and it's the 18th. I feel bad for not, like, remember it right away. I knew somebody's was 10 days after. I just wasn't sure if it was Angel or N that was 10 days after yours. But I knew they were super close to each other. If you're 21, then, wow, we really need to check some records. Uh, one of my hours today at work, and the schedule just says popcorn. I mean goals. Popcorn goals. 
checks out. Grandpa Joe, I just learned about things. Talk to me. Any signs of Maya? Oh, you're not gonna talk to me, Grandpa Joe. Okay, we'll go to the chocolate factory later. Gotta go now. Bye. I'll get you a scrum dilly umptious bar. That'll be great. There are a lot of Februarys and a lot of Februarys and birthdays. Yep. <laughs> I, uh, we have 13 employees at my hotel with birthday. Your birthday is August 15th, eh, Disney? Look at how much older V is than you, Disney. <laughs> and you making jokes? <laughs> oh, oh, you gonna get it now. <laughs> Listen to me, young man. I am your elder and you <laughs> respect me. Now, what was I talking about? <laughs> Grandpa Joe gets up and dances if he has a golden ticket. Like, what a sleaze bag! You could have been up and helping around the house. If but no, you decided to uh, oddly lay in a giant bed with other <laughs> members of your family. <clears throat> that was always kind of weird. <laughs> it was a little weird. After years of lying around. Man, I can't imagine the bed sores Grandpa Joe had after getting up. Yeah. He was more bed sore than Grandpa. Apparently when you start walking, you learn to sing like Grandpa Joe too. Dang. <laughs> I look forward to being able to do that myself. How about Fancy Jackson? Disco, Did Grandpa Joe sing? I don't I even remember now. It's been a while since I've seen it, though. He, he sung about... He continued the song of the golden ticket, didn't he? I got a golden ticket. <laughs> and he, he also sings along with, or continues that song, I think. Mention how Charlie's got a golden ticket, and it gives them opportunity to do whatever. <laughs> I don't really watch the old one that much because... Gene Wilder. I, it's kind of like the Daniel Craig phenomenon. <laughs> like, Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was wondering, how do they go to the bathroom if they never touch the buckets? Bed buckets. <laughs> it's fine. Have you talked to Brady at all this day? I haven't seen him. I don't know where he is. <laughs> He's in the men's dressing room. You just... The way around. Oh, he just... Well, that would... <laughs> I don't know where he was, and I don't think he was showing up until the press conference thing that you mentioned. I was not talking snack about Daniel Gray. <laughs> snack? <laughs> um, he is no, not I a snack. I have a, a weird, unexplainable fear of Daniel Craig that I, I don't understand in my brain. Um, I have nightmares about Daniel Craig a lot where he's like getting up? ready to... I don't Thanks ever know why. Um, where was it? And he I just kind of gives me like this foreboding uh, I mean, sort balcony. of feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and I get that same sort of feeling about Gene Wilder. <laughs> and I don't know why. I'm sure they're very nice guys Great in real life. And I just too. for some reason you have this unexplainable like fear of them. Please, Nancy. It's not me. I was talking from V's point of view that he is not a snack. I guess I should have He can be as he can be as much of a scrum dilly umptious bar as you want him to be, N. She's relentless. I'm just a hostage on her runaway bus. I'm not saying this man is sketchy, but he is. That's I mean, fair. It, yeah, I mean it's just kinda like the feeling I get. I don't know. That's funny. I don't see any gun to your head. It's Just unexplainable. Like I, dangling in front like of I really. It's, it's more complicated than you think. Okay. Seven thirty. Gotta get to you next student. Okay. See you later, Nicole. Good to, good to have you hang out for a bit. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Thanks, thanks, poor man's Kevin Bacon. I learned so much. Not now, Nancy. 
If not now, Kevin Bacon win. <laughs> that's such a that's such a requirement. <laughs> Fun fact: Too well, they wouldn't take the role of Willy Wonka unless he got to do the somersault at the beginning when they met him. Yeah, I remember reading about that. When does the uh, press conference start? <laughs> I don't know. I've never played this game. Hmm. I guess just keep talking to people I, until... I, I, I hear talk. Oh. Okay, go into the, um, to over here. Thank you. Am I supposed to go on the ticket booth? Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we were all Do you hear talking? Today to yep. In the okay. Buster success of Brady Armstrong's new movie, Vanishing Destiny. Wouldn't we all prefer to turn our attention to You actually don't have to and the squeals of um, delighted fans across the nation. Listen to but all of the alas, press conference. We have come um, together to you can use this tragedy. opportunity to Not snoop through people's trials. stuff. I called this conference specifically to let you know, and I trust you will take it upon yourself to inform the world. Uh, I've already looked at this. <laughs> Uh, I watched a documentary. It used to be my favorite movie until my mom lost the VHS. I would binge movies, and many of them were lost. <laughs> <sighs> Unfortunate when that happens, when they get lost. Nancy, take your sunglasses. They'll look so good on you. Can I do anything behind the concession stand? Or no. Say that again. You cut out a little bit. Um, I can't do anything behind the concession stand, can I? No. Is there really anything to look at other than the, the had it thing? Uh, not in Nicholas's area, no. Then we're gonna go see Grandpa Joe. bed, a hot meal, and a place to hang your hat. You could always room with the Radudes. <laughs> the Radudes? Dear Mr. Hughes, we received a letter inquiring about the whereabouts of Jacob Hughes. Unfortunately, Jake died six months ago. He had been ill with emphysema for some time, but you'll be glad to know that he enjoyed his cigarettes to the end. I am glad to know that. Uh, and died peacefully in his sleep. I hope he was smoking when he died, too. Uh, we regret that we were unable to contact you at the time of the death, but we have no idea that Jake had a brother. He never mentioned any family. Ouch. And our research did turn up any leads. Your brother was cremated according to his last wishes, and no rent was due on his room. Please contact the county coroner's office if you would like to have his ashes shipped to you. We're sorry for your loss. Best of luck. Cool. So, do you remember, um... Nick's had it with one? you, Terror. But I haven't had it with him. I'm sorry. Do you remember? It, no, it's fine. Do you remember in day one, he asked Joseph, "What will you do after the demolition?" And Joe said he was going to go out west to Arizona and open a movie theater with his brother, but his brother's dead. Well, now I remember <laughs> because you told me. That's the, that's the connection. Wee, wee. Wee. Well, how? Maybe he has more than one brother. <laughs> maybe. Probably got the cigarette lit in the grave. Makes sense. Because he has to look cool in the afterlife. Uh, was that the main thing I had to find here? Um. Or you was can this... look at the soundboard or the projection board or whatever. Um, but I don't think there's 
anything you can do with it quite yet until you snoop through other stuff. I just see numbers. Yep. So, snoop elsewhere? Yeah, and then you can come back to this. It'll be great. Can you feel it, Mr. Krabs? I'm feeling it! I feel like I've forgotten so many Spongebob references. It made me think of that when you did this wee spinning. <laughs> ah, ah. Lightning speed! Time to open her purse and look inside. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, digital camera. Delete everything. Also, make sure... Double check and make sure you can't open the drawer in that dressing room. I was gonna try opening it. Okay, that's fine. Then take our tools. If it ain't Baroque, if you ain't Baroque, then take our tools. Chuck's fried clucks. Oh, yeah. What a random thing like, to take a picture of. I like of. this progression of pictures. <laughs> Brady looks happy with... And not at all creepy holding that. <laughs> Pass. Passcode? What? The passcode can be found at another place in purse. Okay. Jake's Talent Farm. Mama, Mama Centrics Wellness Garden. <laughs> I don't forget they are part of me. That's fair. I I guess I just forgot a lot of SpongeBob, that's all. Georgie Bear. No, nothing tacky. Aww. Those are my favorite type of things. Oh dang, she she bought a funeral wreath. <laughs> How dare. How dare. Is the code eight thirteen? Or... It is. Yay. So that's what you have to put. What a confusing password system. <laughs> it is very confusing. Yeah, and I think you have to have stars on the top and bottom.
Uh, okay. Now we're just trying to figure out how this whole thing works. This reminds me of my great uncle. He had an oxygen for his lung cancer and he kept smoking. Oh, goodness. That's dedication. <laughs> 8 a.m. Stevie, Paramount Pictures. 11.30 a.m. Lunch date. Brady. 2 p.m. Pick up dry cleaning. 5.15. Brady, final shoot. 11.30, cast party. Party? Party. Delete entry. Aw. <laughs> I guess I'm going to look at today's calendar. Uh, yeah. And then you can look at all the other, like, buttons. All the other buttons? Buttons? Dear Mr. Armstrong, for starters, I'm a huge fan. I've been seeing your movies since I was like 14. Wow, that guy's like, that guy started watching movies a year older than you are currently, right, V? Yep. <laughs> to this day, I still think your best performance was in Lie Like a Rug. But who knows, maybe Vanishing Destiny will top it. Oh, I can only imagine. I'm in college at Washington University now, and I'm planning to go to your premiere at the Royal Palladium. I'm kind of doing because I was hoping to interview for an article I'm writing for my school paper. I'm sure you're very busy, but could I stop by your dressing room this, uh, the afternoon of the premiere? I only have a few questions. The interview would only take 20 minutes or so. What do you think? Please write back. Yours sincerely, Maya. Gasp. Hi, Maya. Sure, I'd be happy to meet with you, so long as we provide any and all photos of me for the article. Also, we need to get a full-page ad for Destiny in your school paper. We need to, uh, we spoke to advertisers, and they claim it's past the deadline. Can you pull a few strings? You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. What do you say? Looking forward to meeting you. Ciao, Brady. Cast party, and we weren't invited. I'm used to it. All these emails are, like, so, like, sleazy. <laughs> the sent emails, too. Thanks for being so generous about your time. As far as your ad goes, I checked with advertising guys and the, they said deadline to deadline. Sorry, but don't worry. I'm sure the premiere will sell out. I know tons of people who are going. I'll stop by your dressing room in the afternoon for this interview. See you then. Dear Brady, my friend Linda said you did all your own dance moves in Dr. Salsa. Is that true? Is this true? My high school history teacher was named Mr. Armstrong. He, is, he had very bent and messed up fingers, but always insisted he hand write out tests. And that sounds just terrible to deal with. <laughs> if it is, that's really cool. You were so good. In, uh oh. Whatever. Will you ever do another movie with Tracy Martine? She is so cool. Right back. Brady, I've written you 22 emails and I haven't heard anything back. Teen Saw Magazine says you care about your fans and you're not and you're not stuck up. So what's your problem? Right back. If you don't, I'm gonna join Lee Jenkins' fan club instead of yours. You're your number one fan, Desi. How many emails do you get like that, V? Um. Lots? Probably lots. Four billion. Wow. That's amazing. That's way higher than I can count. I can't even read them all. Do you have trouble reading? <laughs> Are they that poorly written? Yes. Dang. I've read it right because the men and said men who, look, who have ponytails are really just trying to cover up a bald spot. You don't have a bald spot, do you? Please tell. I promise I can keep a secret. Hey, Brady, what's up? I'm wondering if the next movie is going to be. But I'm also wondering, can you play the guitar? I think you should start a band. I'm in a band. We're called Senator Spanky. Cool, huh? You should be in one, too. I bet you'd rock. Well, I gotta start my homework. Right back. E.B. E.B. White? Uh, hi, Brady. As far as dudes go, I'm probably your number one fan. I'm also a young actor. 12, pulling on 13. Just, li just like age. you. Yeah. I asked him if we could watch a history movie in class, and he said, well, only if we can take a 100-question test after it. And then you said, well, make it about the water boy, and I'm all for it. Right? Right, Disney? <laughs> How did you get discovered? Please help me. <laughs> Sincerely, J.R. Stetson. Do you think it's a cool stage name? Good stage name? Your ponytail is cool. What kind of hair gel do you use? 
thank you. <laughs> well, I can't click any more new messages. They were so entertaining. Check the sent tab at the top. Oh. Georgie Bear, thanks for your message. I miss you too, sugar. Can't talk, though. A lot is happening here. I'm a genius. I'll tell you all about it when I get back. Love, your Simonster. 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 <laughs> okay. They probably say it later in the game, and it's properly pronounced, unlike me, who is mispronouncing it. That is some high-quality H2O. Hi, Carol. Listen, something's come up, and we won't be flying out of St. Louis tomorrow. As planned, I'll get back to you when I know something definite, but for now, just cancel that flight, will you please? Thanks. Cecil. Things are going better than I would have hoped for. The premiere is off for now. The news is spreading like wildfire. Tell Rhonda, great work. Keep me posted. Listen, Cecil, have you been brushing Miss Sparkles? I checked in with her this morning on the webcam, and she's looking awfully bedraggled. She's a very sensitive cat, Cecil. She hates to have a bad fur day. If she's traumatized when I get home, you'll be sorry you ever met me. Gatorade. <laughs> Murph, thanks for getting me those contact sheets so fast. The black and white glossies for Destiny definitely need another airbrush. Can you do anything to make his jawline look more defined? Let me know. What are you laughing about? That jawline. It's important that his jawline is so defined. Alright, well. I think I've seen it all now. Yep. Power off. No, I didn't. Whatever. <laughs> uh, is that it for her purse? What's that? I said, let me see. I saw the pictures. Uh, I saw her. Yeah, you got the you got pictures and the PDA. I think those are the things that you can look at. And then, um, and then the drawer. the drawer. Once I figure out how to, oh, I gotta. Now I got a lock pick. I mean, a hair pin. <laughs> I assume that's the thing I was supposed to grab. Right, 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 right. Oh, sorry, I'm back. Oh, did you leave? Yeah, I said pardon one second. Oh, I, <laughs> I thought you it, heard me. Nope, it cut out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. My dad was um, giving me um, all the paint stuff for the room I have to paint later. Uh, well, my mood just crashed. My mom was supposed to bring me something last Friday, but she forgot, which is fine. But apparently she's going to send it out with my dad today. I do not want to do it. I'm, I'm sorry, Anna. Aww. That sucks. Um, so you can go through, uh, Brady's... Brady's what? Brady's dressing room. You are what you project, becoming the captain of your own destiny. Author of Out with the Old, In with the New. Paint me like one of your French girls. Uh, no, thank you. I don't have any French girls. That's the problem. <laughs> the language of success. You are my oyster. Now open up and hand over the pearls. Uh, that's so deep. <laughs> well, that's generally established one of life's great truths in the premise of this book. You are what you project. Another way of putting this is, what you project is who you are. This is well written. As we saw in the cases of Lisa and Dwayne, a negative attitude is a poor foundation from which to win friends and influence people. Because who wants to be around a grouch or, or, or 
do favors for a loser. No one. On the other hand, with a positive attitude, or what we call your inner captain, the sky's the limit. The stories of Rick and Beatrice prove that you command the world. You are my oyster. Now open up and hand over the pearls. <laughs> wow, buzzkill. <laughs> That's my job. You'll soon find yourself basking in fame, fortune, and social popularity. Standing at the helm of your own destiny. In this chapter, we'll learn how to speak the language of success. Success. And that's not just verbal language, it's body language, too. It's everything that you communicate to the world, so stand up straight, pull up your socks, and freshen the breath. Because you, yes you, are going straight to the top. Yes! Before we get started, take a look at the chart to see where you're speaking like the captain of your own destiny, or the cabin boy. Or whether you're his, speaking. His commentary is like the funniest. I was thinking about writing something in French, but I think that what I was going to say might have required the subjunctive, and that needs way more brain power than I have available right now. Uh, I don't know what that says. I'm gonna Google Translate. Oh, look, stubbornness, Trump needing brain power. I think I'm a little French, is what I got. <laughs> Okay, I can get that. Cabin boy, I can get that for you, sir. Captain, I'm busy. Get it yourself. Cabin boy, minimum wage is okay with me. Captain, no, there is no limit to my worth. Cabin boy, I'm parched. Captain, I am driven to quench my thirst. Cabin boy, I'm hungry. Captain, I eat my competitors for dinner. Cabin boy, what if I lose my hair? Captain, I'll make baldness irresistible. Irresistible. <laughs> Cabin boy, what if the door of opportunity is locked? Captain, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow that door down. Nothing will stand between me and my destiny. Do you see how the cabin boy is ruled by fear and doubt, whereas the captain greets the world with his chest puffed out and his best foot forward? Yeah, captain doesn't seem fake and full of himself at all. <laughs> Isn't it time that you grabbed your destiny by the horns and sailed it into the sunset? The choice is yours, but remember this. If you're not the lead dog, the view never changes. Ready to transform your life? Read on. Man, what a book. I wish there was you, more to it. You grab grab the um, piece of paper that's sticking out. I grabbed it. Come back here and swab this deck. You work for me, Captain Brady. Simone overboard. <laughs> And I don't want to change your life right this minute. Why not start by changing your outfit? The clothes you put on say a lot about your attitude, so why not put on success from head to toe? The key to enhance self-presentation is in the stars with the astral-style guide. You can invent a new image that's guaranteed to attract people and money. Keep reading. Gemini Twins, you're witty, charming, clever, and sometimes mischievous. At times, you can be a bit of a double dealer. Some even call you two-faced. But let's think positive. It may be that you're just too dynamic to settle for simple. In order to uh, in order to keep things exciting, you may even enjoy leading a double life. This doesn't mean you're shallow, disloyal, and fickle as some people say. It just means you're curious and eager to try new things. Gemini style, you have a big new project coming up, Gemini. You'll want to project a new sense of adventure and daring, but at the same time, you'll need people to take you seriously. Consider a theme and then accessorize. Wow, wow, whist. Try alligator skin boots, a shiny pair of spurs, and a turquoise studded belt buckle. <laughs> Full advice, but this is basically horoscopes. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> A lot of the names in this book come from Stay Tuned for Danger and TRT. Treasure and Royal Tower. Power of the High Seas. Try a ruffled shirt, an eye patch, gold hoop, earrings, and a parrot. Gambling Tycoon. Try a purple velvet hat, lucky dice cuff links, and a walking cane. I feel like these things will just make you look insane. <laughs> add some studious looking glasses and maybe a pipe to add to any of these styles and people will know you can And people will know people will know that you consider things carefully before you act. When I think of pirates, I think of studious glasses and a pipe. <laughs> That's my day. What's that? That's my day-to-day -day look. I know. 
Well, I thought you were more of the Wild Wild West gal with the pipe and the studious glasses. It's because of my alligator skin boots, isn't it? That would be the main reason, yes. Exactly, Anna. Right, and it's just looking glasses to an eye patch. That's right. Well, your eye patch has to see things clearly, too. <laughs> Gosh. Coming soon. Dress your pet for success, too. Yes. Uh, okay. That was Make quite sure the you book. look in all of the drawers and dressers in here, too. Gotcha. Looking at Brady's drawers. You said it, not me. You encouraged me. <laughs> Nicholas will be so offended. He can't find out. He can never find out. <laughs> okay, if you can't look at this, these drawers, look at the other dresser. It's locked. It's locked, but I have a hairpin. State technician's Hello. guide. The Houdini Transformation Class 5 Authorization. Due to the restricted nature of the stage manipulations usage, you will need Class 5 technicians to ask to perform this procedure. I thought we were more interested in Nick's drawers. Sometimes. Uh, preparation. Be sure to... Be sure the control board power button is activated on the numbered keypad on the control board. Enter the six-digit security code. For the Houdini transformation, it was on page 73 of your class fave, class fave, class five stage technician's cookbook. Press the left and right fader power buttons to bring power to the faders, which is maneuvering the iron cages. When cued by the performers, lower the two iron cages to the stage floor by moving the left and right fader switches down to their lowest position. As the cages reach the stage floor, press the magnet button to attach the tunnel. Columns to the cage bottoms. After both performers have entered the cages, move the fader switches up slightly to raise the cages three feet above the stage floor. The tunnel columns will still be attached to the cage bottoms, although you will not see them, they are hidden by mirrors. On your cue from the performers, press the trap door button to open the trap doors. Cage with trap door button with cat cage with trap door open. Uh, the lock button and other security measures important. You must depress the lock switch. I have to make the lock switch depressed. I have to make it sad. Yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty good at making people sad. <laughs> and buttons too, apparently. <laughs> After all Just these buttons. Nah people too. After all stage manipulations have been completed in the proper order. Uh Put it in the proper order as this lock will as this will lock all elements in place. For security purposes, all stage elements and board controls will move to their original positions if the lock button is not activated. The lock button cannot be activated until all stage manipulations have been completed in the proper order. Yeah, but but people too. <laughs> uh mm-hmm. The secret rooms and tunnels. A secret room and tunnels, huh? Secret tunnels? Mm-hmm. What you eating? <laughs> Goldfish. <laughs> Do you love the fishes because they're so delicious? Mm-hmm. The quick switch box. The performers in the cages will exchange piece places via the quick switch box on the stage. The trick chair, foot elevator, and tunnels. A third performer will exchange places with the fourth performer seated on the trick chair in the front row of the auditorium. To access the trick chair from the quick switch box, the third performer will have to use the tunnel system beneath the box. The tunnel system runs from the quick switch box to the magician's room and the trick chair. Do you want to go find that stuff? What I gleaned from all this, push all the buttons. <laughs> that makes sense. Oops. We can go find the magician's room. Trick chair, the third performer can access it. I mean, I guess we have to, right? Yes. <laughs> the the third performer can access the trick chair via the foot elevator beneath the chair. A seamless transition. The 
from the fourth performer to the third will be achieved by using a large costume slash shell. The shell rests sturdily on the chair, whether a performer is inside or not. The room, located beneath the stage and beneath, beside the basement, is for the magicians and related staff performers only. I have the uh, step by step written down. Step so by step. I can read you the steps. Day by day. Projection room. Do you have the code written down too? Yep. Okay, so I won't write it down. Because <laughs> that sounds like effort. I suppose this was the main thing I had to pick up from Brady's room. Yeah. Anything else in Brady's room, or am I done here? Uh, I think that's everything you need right now. <laughs> Up to the projectionist booth. Let's do it. Okay. I'll try to get smart, but it's not normally my type of thing to do. Get Smart is a great movie. It was a fun TV show, too. Mm-hmm. Missed it by that much. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. First thing you gotta do is you gotta turn the pow the main power button on. Oh. Do I do that by putting the code in or? No, not yet. You gotta turn the power on first. Oh, maybe the power is on. Oh yeah, that's not the right power button. Would you believe it? I guess I've seen... the power button is the one that's lit up. Oh, okay. It's already pushed. I see. Would you believe it? I've seen all the episodes of Get Smart. Well, would you believe I watched most of them? How about the pilot and the series finale? I mean, I would have believed that you watched all of them or most of them. But I'm not sure about this pilot and series finale only. So the power is on. Okay. So then I that think. fader switch that you pressed. Yeah. For now. I was just pressing buttons hoping that one of them would power on things. <laughs> but I don't know if I was supposed to press that or not. Yeah, that you'll turn it on, but So you'll turn that Oh, it's off. It's off, okay. Um so the key That's the first thing. It's great because you cut out when you're trying to explain things, so I don't hear them. What? You were cutting out, so I couldn't understand what you were saying. Oh. Okay, first thing is the keypad. Okay. The number is 121192. Okay. Then you click the two buttons that say fade or switch. Was that the stuff next to the two fader switches? The two buttons that say fader power? Yeah. 
left and right, so right? Click those on. Okay, I did it. Then you drag the two switches down to their lowest setting. Oh, I, I guess I clicked them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Then you hit the magnet button. Done. And then you'll bring both of the one notch. You said both the switches up one notch? Yeah. Okay. Then you do the trap. The trap doors? Yep. Okay. And then you lock everything in with the switch to the right. That so I click, you click that again, huh? Yeah, that's to lock everything in place. Okay. And then you can go out to the stage. Yay! Time to stage a murder. You s what? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't hear you. I, I just decided to randomly say, time to stage a murder. Oh. Yeah, Discord's kind of poopy sometimes. It's just being really bad this morning, it seems. It makes us sound seem like we're ignoring each other. Yeah, and usually one of us is doing that. <laughs> okay. You can go down into the cage. Yay! And explore. Maya. There she is. It's her feet. What a lazy bones. She was just looking for a place to lay down. But in what room and with what weapon? Maybe we can murder a stage. Big brain. Huh? It's true. We could. But in what room with what weapon? Um, 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 the, the, the ballroom with, uh, uh, the dagger. Yeah. Am I supposed to go to the elevator? Um, yeah, you can. But isn't there other things to do? Um, you're kind of at a dead end the other way. With this mysterious puzzle with the rabbit. Yeah, it's all stuck. She These should. Pieces won't budge. She should just like remove the pieces. Yeah. Coerce it, Nancy. Budge. Yell at it. Call it names. <clears throat> Not the velvet rope. Not the gumdrop button. Not the gumdrop buttons. Maneuvering in this game. Help! Is anybody out there? Is Over. there anybody out there? It's Nancy. Nancy, for goodness sake, what are you doing down there? Somehow I went and trust that there. elevator. Hold on, I'm greasing the wheels here. <sighs> Somehow I want to trust that elevator. Not sure why. Her likes those hydraulic lifts. Yeah, they do. I found a secret room under the stage. I've got to check it out. Room. <laughs> I swear, Nancy, as long as I've worked here, I've never been able to find my way in there. Wow. You're not a very good worker, then. <laughs> never been able to find this room. I found the door, but the pieces that open the door are stuck. You're just a big dumb, Joseph. Here, try this. Hurry. Oh, oh, why can't I just exit out of there? Okay, whatever. Hello, big head Joseph. I certainly won't use this WD-40. I mean, generic water displacement spray. <laughs> <laughs> this should 
loosen things up. Yeah. Loosey goosey. into the right place I'm working on it poor day too bad your rabbit can't just go up one space <laughs> but that would be too easy <laughs> Watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. I like how the music just dies down again when I'm doing this. <laughs> Awkward silences. It's the best. You got this. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Onion rings. Oh yeah. And now the music picks up again. <laughs> Nancy, put your head in the guillotine. It'll be funny. Oh my. <laughs> okay, Nancy, just put your foot in the guillotine then. It'll be funny. All these sweet props. That's a tiny hole for a head. <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Rubber is shockproof. <laughs> Great. Maybe it's for cigars. It's like a really fancy cigar clipper. Ah, oh, so fancy. Fancy Nancy. That is a pretty cool sword. That's like a cool sword. Oh, and Mamma Mia Pizzeria. Mamma Mia Pizzeria. Her shoe. And Mario and Luigi love it. I'm not ready to explore there yet. And I'll look at more garbage. Garbage? Dang it, Maya, why couldn't you clean up after yourself? <laughs> she is a slob. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I wonder if we'll need those gloves for something electric. Oh, I, I can't imagine. She just thought they looked fashionable after reading that book that Brady was reading. <laughs> She's so motivated! Magic Secrets, Volume 4. Why am I looking Ooh, at... Why am I looking? Secret, secret, I got a secret. Whatever. <laughs> I read the phantom message as the phantom massage. Like, that's not creepy. I'm uh, a ghost to massage you. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, too no, bad. No. <laughs> Ghosts don't know consent. Uh, let's see. So the Phantom Message. 
The effect, set a sharpened pencil on a small sheet of paper on your magician stand and select a volunteer from the audience. After turning your back, ask the volunteer to write a message on the sheet of paper with a pencil. When she says that she is ready, you can pick up the sheet of paper while making a point not to look at it, crumple the paper into a ball, and to the amazement of the audience, make it explode into a ball of flame. That sounds way more complicated. <laughs> She's just going to use them when she greases a trap door so she doesn't get water repellent on her clothes. <laughs> For, for future times that she does that, because that happened before we entered the door. <laughs> uh, you then produce a deck of cards from your pocket and set it on your magician's stand. The volunteer picks a random card from the deck. Explain to the volunteer that her written message has risen from the ashes and will make itself known. Take the sharp pencil and begin to rub the face of the volunteer's card gently. <laughs> rub the face of the volunteer is how I read it in my head before I read it. <laughs> Uh, just rub, just rub the volunteer's face. <laughs> ah, Gently. This is Gently. magic. <laughs> the new sequel to Phantom of the Opera, Phantom Massage. <laughs> it's like that scene in Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> just get some, uh, Everly Brothers playing. <laughs> yeah. Phantom of the Vastly Smaller Theater. <laughs> Phantom. <laughs> Phantom of Manhattan. Still better than Chud. What? Still better than Chud is what I said. What is Chud? Chud was an 80s sort of monster horror movie about killer creatures under the in the sewer system of New York. Chud is an acronym for Cannibalistic Humanoid Underground Dwellers. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, it was one of those movies that uh, were really bad. <laughs> You've seen a lot of those. What? Somehow I got a sequel though. Goodness. Didn't see the sequel. They want my friend and my brother watch it without me. Uh, that was called Bud the Chud. Um, the second words are going to appear on the card. It's the exact message of volunteer written on the sheet of paper. Wow! I haven't heard that before. This trick will utilize a few of the techniques and gimmicks that we have converted, covered, converted in previous chapters. <clears throat> First, as you place the pencil and paper on the stand, secretly have a playing card face up hidden beneath the sheet of paper. As volunteer writes her message on the paper, the pencil will leave an imprint on the message of the playing card. <clears throat> an imprint of the message on the blank card. <clears throat> Note, be sure your pencil's sharp. <clears throat> that the volunteer is finished, lift up the paper and the card at the same time with your right hand. While keeping the card hidden, take the piece of paper with your left hand and secretly leave the card in your right hand using the palming technique from Chapter 3. As you crumple the paper in your left hand, you will <laughs> secretly be busy with your right hand. That sounds bad. <laughs> <clears throat> this is where we got alligators slash crocodiles in the sewers. TMNT. <laughs> Place your right hand into your right jacket pocket, release the card, and slide your flash paper trigger onto your index finger. Then secretly palm a wad of flash paper as you remove your tan from your jacket pocket. See flash paper and other effects in chapter 7. <sighs> well, hold a couple of my... It really is. Flashing people. <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly. Face massages. <laughs> Sharpens pencil and Brady's teeth. Huh. Well, I guess that's one way to do it. <laughs> While holding the crumpled message in your left hand and hiding the flash paper in your right hand. Give the illusion that you're taking the crumpled message into your right hand. This will be achieved by using the French drop technique from chapter 2 as you pretend to hold the message in your right hand. Okay. Great. Paper. Pencil. Magic. <laughs> wow, Carly. Is that a flash paper trigger, or are you just happy to see me? I'm just happy to see you.
You can go through. What's that? Because uh, you can't go back through the door you came in. You have to go through the other door. I figured. I just wondered what that did. <laughs> yeah. But I think that's everything here. Because you trapped. Yep, that's everything. I didn't realize magic was so dirty. You can use it in your fan fiction now. <laughs> <laughs> It's the amazing Monty. Did I already deal with him? You did. You got the flash paper from him. <laughs> Speaking of flash paper. Monty is a pervert. <laughs> uh, um, you have the proof that Maya was in the building, though, so you can go call the police. Yay. The gate is electrified. The gate is electrified. Keep this door open. It will automatically lock if it closes. Thanks. The gate is electrified. The gate is electrified. Eight, this is six, the... seven, five, three. Oh, there's no O, so it can't be eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Poop. <sighs> I don't like the sound of this puzzle, so I'm kind of glad that I have the... You have to deal with my, the sound of me <laughs> instead. I just get so confused if I hear, like, you and, like, you know, 15 seconds later or whatever, and I'm like, what, 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 what? <laughs> right, I was just saying the sound of me was worse. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> so this is just a memory puzzle. Oh, like I click on it and then yeah, something happens. Yeah, until one sticks and it's all randomized. Will it make like the right noise when I hit the right one? It'll just stay de like depressed. It'll stay depressed. That's great. Know that feeling. I agree, Anna. It looks like four. Yeah, so four is the first number. It would be eight. It would be eight seconds. The last number I choose. <laughs> sing with, sing with. I gotta sing with. I'm really good at picking the last number last. <laughs> it's almost like they're doing it on purpose. Oh, I didn't do it last that time. Nice. Oh, now I did it again. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hear the little brr, brr, just like very slightly, I guess, coming through speakers. Oh. Oh. I'm doing it terribly. Got him. Nice. Okay, let's see. I hate these, although I did get stay tuned for danger first try on Friday. Way to go! Stay tuned for dangers RNG can be very un and was in the same tear, same. <laughs> I'm just gonna wear these gloves for the rest of the game, I don't care. <laughs> Kidnapper just moved Maya to a new hiding place. Have you seen anything suspicious around here? Wow, are you sure? I didn't see anything. 
I found evidence that will prove that Maya's Stop. being held Stop. in this building. Stop. Stop. Wow. Evidence. Where? I'll talk to you Slap. later. Slap. I've got to Slap. get a hold of Sergeant Slap. Ramsey. Slap. Wow, evidence. Where? <laughs> Be safe. Be safe, HS. What were you laughing about? What were you laughing about? Slap! Slap! <laughs> slap! <laughs> um, I can the clock because I gotta start that painting, just so you know. What's that? I can only go till around one because I do have to get started on that painting. I bet he sparkles in the sunlight. <laughs> Take him outside. <laughs> gotcha. Just gonna dial the phone with my fancy rubber gloves on still. Oh, yeah. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold. Missing persons, this is Ramsey. Sergeant Ramsey, it's Nancy Drew. Hi, Miss Drew. I found Maya. She's painting her room. So the case is closed. I found her, and then she disappeared again. Good grief. This girl's a regular Houdini. All right. What have you got? Oh, no, me? not my room. I'm painting a room, room but oh, not my room. Oh, a room. I, saw Maya I thought you said people, your room. By the time I oh, no, it's room, just, it's a little, gone. it's like at the, the top of our stairs. We have like a little a nook people. that we completely cleared out, sure and we're gonna turn it into like a mini Sir, library, evidence, and I'm gonna paint that. Boxes and one of Maya's shoes. I left everything where it was, so you could see for yourself. So you think the kidnappers? Proper is shockproof. <laughs> well, it sure is. Interesting, Miss Drew. It sounds like you've been conducting quite a search. Now, will you please send someone over to investigate? Yep. Just bear with me while I try to find an available car. Help is on the way, Miss Drew. <laughs> Great. Bye. Library and not a game room. Well, my game room is kind of like... I have places for my games, so... But if there's enough shelf space, then I may take one of the shelves and use it as, like, game collection. Mm -hmm. But I already have other places for my games. Hello, yeah, Joe. The kidnapper's been holding Maya in that magician's room under the stage. You found her? Oh, that's great. Where is she now? So everything's gonna be gone, right? Because Nancy didn't invest in a disposable camera. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I got through that door, the room was empty. Are you sure you didn't just imagine you saw it? <laughs> imagine you saw a person. You're crazy, Nancy. I'm sure. She was there, and now she's gone. Don't tell me you think I'm crazy, too. What if I'm gone? Ba. She left. Oh. Single secret, I got a secret. That's going to well, be in my head literally all day now. Well, glad it happened here. You're welcome. I found a couple of pizza boxes down there, so at least I know she's not starving. Evidence. That should interest the police. Have you called them? Yeah, they said they'll come check it out, but they may not be able to get here for a while. I'll wait up for the police. You get some rest, Nancy. You're going to need it for tomorrow. Make sure they check that magician's secret room. Take a nap, Nancy. Take a nap, Nancy. Take a nap, Nancy. <laughs> exactly, Carly. Exactly. Are you sure they just imagine seeing the missing person as someone who wants her back but refuses to look for her? I am skeptical. <laughs> exactly. It's like Joseph's like, oh, yo, let's find her. We gotta find her, Nancy. Oh, gosh, I found her, Joseph. No, I didn't. <laughs> Lies. Lies. Fake news. <laughs> Yak be nimble, big at box office. That's what I'm supposed to focus on, right? St. Louis Police Department received a call yesterday, man, 50k for the return of Maya. 
my 19 year old Washington University student who disappeared two days ago from movie star Freddie Armstrong's dressing room at the historic Royal Palladium Theater. Uh, this new development marks the first significant lead in this mysterious case. Until now, the police have been reluctant to label uh, disappearance or kidnapping as there is no evidence that the girl was taken by force. Uh, she was a reporter for the University Student Life newspaper and was at the theater to interview Armstrong for an article. The call came in at 4.36 yesterday afternoon due to a voice distortion device. The police are unable to determine whether the caller was male or female, but they were able to trace the call to a payphone in Granite City. According to earlier rumors, the alleged kidnapping was motivated by a fanatic's desire to, serve, to save the millennium from today's scheduled demolition. But yesterday's caller made no reference to the theater. The police now believe that the kidnapper's desperation is, is financial in nature, and will not stop the demolition from proceeding according to the schedule. As for the ransom... What? What the... the, 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 the... Yak attack to Yak be nimble. <laughs> but that's what the first one... <laughs> that's what I mean, where it says knack, yak, knack be nimble. Yak be nimble is probably... It's a yak attack. Ah. Gotcha. gotcha. I don't know where we were seeing the Empress from, too. I don't know where we were seeing an Empress from, too. <laughs> yeah, be nimble, big at office, box office. It's the best. Nancy, did you just wake up in the ticket office? <laughs> kind of weird, Nancy. Kind of weird. Yak be nimble. No, yak be quick is yak attack for... <clears throat> and then, of course, Yak Jump Over the Candlestick is the finale. The closing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The end to the quartet. That's right. Okay, while you start talking to some uh, characters, I'm just going to run to the bathroom right quick. Gotcha. Be safe. Can you believe this ransom demand coming out of thin air? Do you think it's real? Apparently, the call came from north of here, a town called Granite City. Personally, I think it's a hoax. Now the police are convinced that Maya's not in this building. But what about the evidence I found? Are you sure the pizza boxes were in that magician's room? Because the police couldn't find anything. That's impossible. Are you sure they looked in the magician's room? They searched the whole... The moose next door. How could they miss two big pizza boxes with leftover pizza? How could Maya leave a piece of pizza behind? No Honestly. That either. She blew it. Even without the evidence, that corner of the room had obviously been lived in recently. Follow your gut, Nancy. If you think Maya's still here, you keep looking for her, you hear? I got another threat from the kidnapper. That creepy voice came on the PA and told me to stop searching for Maya. The projection room? But who? Someone must have ducked out of the press conference. I was so busy with crowd control, I didn't even notice. Joseph, I did some checking. You don't really have any family in Greasewood, do you? Now what you want to go digging into an old man's life for, Nancy? Everyone's a suspect, Joseph. You know that. If you have nowhere to go after the theater comes down, then maybe you're the kidnapper desperado. I'm back. So Welcome back. Now, now. Thanks. I am going to Greasewood, and I'm not desperate. I made up the part about my brother so you wouldn't feel sorry for me. You've got enough to worry about, don't you? It's only a matter of hours until the demolition. Plot twist. She isn't missing. She is at the stable with Tex. She has not put up short correctly. He won't let her leave. <laughs> this is quite the plot twist for Shah, which I have yet to play. Gotta go now. But I've only seen play like 30 times. <laughs> Not that I've paid very close attention any time. TBH. It's the best one. That's what you've told me. That's what Ed's told me, too. I know later. that's very Fight subjective, though. No, it's not what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, shorty. Gotcha. Have you, did you call um, back the county? Did you ever call the county administration? I called the Washington D.C. thing. That's what oh, the Library of Congress. Yeah. Okay. 
was that what you were referring to or yeah i think you can also call the county administration office which um nancy makes a note of in when you look at that had it brochure i think um, i did make that call that day though okay i think that's what i thought i just couldn't remember <clears throat> you can keep checking the ticket booth for a package which will arrive for you okay But it may not be there now. It may be later. I think I just see the newspaper and that's it. <laughs> so, going off. Okay. When people say hola when they aren't Spanish, yikes. I sometimes say other words. Like if somebody sneezes, I'll <laughs> say like tight. Sometimes say other words. <laughs> yeah, or like, like I mean, words. <laughs> Like, you know. Foreign words? I've, I've had, I've told people grazie before instead of thank you. I don't mean to be, like, disrespectful or anything to any particular language or culture. I just sometimes use... I'm bad words. at speaking all of them. <laughs> That's my feeling. Yeah, I mean, I'm not good at languages. Don't get... How's progress? I know you sent the funeral wreath. Now where's Maya? I don't know what you're talking about, sugar. Listen. It just feels weird. Sugar That's fair. Really be getting to you. I know a top-notch aromatherapist in town, okay? I'll give you her number. I'm not stressed out. I'm livid. I went through your stuff and I know what you did. You broke into my personal property? I could have you arrested for that. It's just business, Simone. I you am do so it. cold. I'm like I wrapped up in a blanket. Do. I'm sure you would appreciate that. All right. I sent the stupid wreath, but I'm no kidnapper. I needed something for the camera. I'm sorry that you're I? cold. And it That's was okay. a very tasteful arrangement. Should have been for 300 bucks. Perhaps you're probably just getting the sensation of my cold, cold heart. <sighs> and it's traveling all the way down there. <clears throat> No. Yeah. Dreaming if you think that's no. enough to get you off my suspect list. That was very weird growl. I don't know what that was about. At least it wasn't a Vimo, so I know you're not upset. <laughs> what is an appropriate emote for this situation? <laughs> I wish you luck in finding out. Oh, that one works. What are you doing hanging out with that Falcone? Jerk? That's a domestic Dan. I'm not hanging out with him, Brady. I'm conducting a I remember seeing them. I'll take any tip I can get. That guy's bad news, and he's certainly not See, help Brady is upset you've been hanging out with Nickel. Upset that you're going to look at Brady's drawers. This is just a weird love triangle. I trust you or anyone else around here for that matter. Just trying to help. <clears throat> Talk to you later, Brady. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> The love triangle that nobody cared about. I don't rightly know. What I'm supposed to do. <laughs> oh, you've got a post-it note. I saw that. So I'm going oh. up to Joseph, I guess. <clears throat> you may have to, like, make rounds at some point. Joseph. Brady will not be in his... Joseph's uh, not at his place. Dressing room, and there will be more things you can look at. I was supposed to go see Joseph right away, right? That's what the post-it note was saying? Yeah, is he in there? He's not in the projectionist booth. Okay, then... I guess keep making rounds and... 
And the, there will be something new in Brady's dressing room at some point today. Day three is kind of weird. Um, the triggers are all very Hola. Catch you later. Yeah, whatever, Robert Pattinson. Maybe Nancy doesn't want you. Maybe. <laughs> Come right away. But I won't be there. He <laughs> he. <laughs> got me. He got he he got me good. The good thing is, is that even though I have to go at one, we will definitely be finishing this game the next time we play. Brady's gone. Good. Look through his bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a couple things to look at in there. Like his suntan lotion or spray. From Sunny Boy. Yeah. Maya's notebook. I think it's like the like fake tan that you like rub into your skin. If found, please contact Maya. Nguyen, I think is how you say that. I've been avoiding it so because I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> I think it's Nguyen. It probably is. Any history with the Royal Palladium? Do you believe actors should use their influence to champion political causes? <laughs> Glad Maya wrote that on the outside because that's what people do. <laughs> <clears throat> Probably is. As t that's right. <laughs> I avoid things. It's a, like when a friend with in middle school with the same last name. I'm sure I've known people with that last name, but I just didn't remember how to say it. Didn't remember when. Uh, was it B as a decision? Research attended benefit last year to save historic theater and ally the galaxy. Interested in saving the world, Bloodium? Why does she shorten RP sometimes, but other times she doesn't? <laughs> Who knows? Maya's weird. Maybe we'll just let her stay kidnapped. <laughs> I don't know. I think he requests to further his career. He regrets to further his career. We tell the end. Hit him with an evidence. Demand an answer. Evidence? Of what? Ooh. Um, there's two other things you can look at in his bag after you look at her. The hair growth treatment? Yeah, and one more thing. A pencil. For pencil. You steal. But good. It's a very common last name. I've seen it a lot, so that doesn't surprise me. But I never knew how to pronounce it. Or I've heard it and then I forgot. <laughs> oh, I gotta close up the bag. Because, you know, the game is just demands. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey, Brady. Hey, girl, hey. Jig is up, Brady. Start talking. Huh? I'm afraid you've lost me. You kidnapped her because you didn't want her to print this article. You rotten Why? fraud. I done anything wrong. You have some <clears throat> nerve. And good thing I touched your notebook. Touched your notebook as well. <laughs> Here's the deal. My real name is Brady Thompson. Simone pushed for Armstrong more wholesomely smoldering, she said. Yeah, so? I'm Wave of the Future, Inc. The owner of this theater, great nephew of JJ himself. <laughs> exactly, Anna. But you're an actor. 
Why in the world would you want to bulldoze that on the ceiling? the ceiling? It's a jig. The place is shabby. It needs major repairs. Wow, Carly, I feel it's like you'd be a really good detective. Not the image With lines the like that, it's just, you know. Yeah, that's what, that's like 90% of being a detective. The lines. <laughs> yeah. You gotta have those snappy lines. Just like that. Snappy. <laughs> that's right. You have to cover your tracks so no one knows you're snooping in their stuff until Nancy tells them that she was snooping in their stuff. <laughs> like, I went through your thing. Like, she blatantly expresses two times now that she went through people's stuff. I think Nancy's sassy level is, like, off the charts in this game. Is everything about image with you? Never underestimate the power of image, Nancy. You are <clears throat> what you project. That sounds like the book you read. And what is it that you wish to project? <laughs> when people think of Brady Armstrong, they think sparkling white teeth and healthy glow. Success glows. It doesn't crumble and sag. The hero never rides a has-been horse. But what are you going to do with the site? When I saw these ritzy theme restaurants popping up all over the country, it hit me like pow. My first original idea. Brady Armstrong's Planet Tinseltown. Can't you see it on the marquee? Grand opening. The lights will say it all. What does this have to do with Maya? I've sworn to be the captain of my own destiny. Maya was going to expose me. Exactly, Mark Carly. My name in this yep. controversy. <laughs> it would have been a dark cloud over the launch of Tinseltown. And for that, she deserves to be kidnapped? I didn't kidnap her. <clears throat> I found her notepad in the basement with the press pass. I just thought I'd hang on to it for a few days. Until the dust settles. How could you withhold anything that might help me find her? How could you? Sorry, Nancy. Look, you're not thinking clearly. It's obvious she's not in the building. We've searched everywhere. She has to be in the building. I know she's here. You're the only <laughs> one who thinks she's here. There's no... You evidence. know, Anna, it's a starting place, right? <laughs> she's... He's just hoping that... We don't know anything about the book. <laughs> it sounds great when he's saying it. <laughs> Especially if he claims that um, he made it up. If you were a dirty crook. <laughs> yeah, I looked find at all it. my angry emo. <laughs> there was evidence. I found pizza boxes. Only Maya eats pizza. From a box. There was evidence. I found a pizza box and one of her shoes. Evidence that no one was able to verify. Who's to say you didn't imagine that stuff? I imagined a shoe in a pizza box. My imagination sucks. Joseph believes me. He's a confused old codger. Nicholas thinks she's in the building. He's an outlaw and he's using you. Now, if I don't have a lot of angry emails. I've got to rally a wrecking crew. <laughs> Brady, no! Brady, no! <laughs> no! Brady, you're... <laughs> oh, well, we tried. <laughs> Sorry, Maya, we tried. Let's go get some ice cream. We're in St. Louis, right? Never seen the arch. Let's go. Flattering. <laughs> Good job not walking forward. A lot of people make that mistake and get clonked by the light. <laughs> if only she had a camera or a phone or the ability to draw. Or took someone with her. <laughs> Details. Okay. Just keep talking to peoples now. Just keep talking and no one will explode. I'm sad I only have a few minutes. Nancy, I just heard your uh, a package just came your, from the uh, museum. 
We may have the speed runner clicks. Yep. Check the ticket booth. Oh boy, ticket booth time. I mean, you're welcome to keep going. Um, I couldn't do that I to you. Huh? I couldn't do that to you. What do you mean? Keep going without you here. Oh, well, I mean, it wouldn't hurt anything. Sure no, it was Brady from the beginning. He was alone. Where was his bunch? <laughs> <laughs> Never trust that Alice character. <laughs> Dennis Fury couldn't find anything written in Mr. Houdini's own hand, but I did find his letter addressed to Mr. Houdini from a close colleague and friend. It seems to hint at the information you require. Hope this package has arrived in time to be useful to you. Great. Nancy, you've got to find out what's on that slide. I'll talk to Joseph and see if he knows what the... We can't wait for Joseph. He's probably roaming around saying goodbye to each and every doorknob. I heard they're about to start clearing out the building. You've got to hurry. Nicholas, I don't think you... I'll cover for you when the police come in. This is it, Nancy. Go. Okay. Guess he's covering for me. <laughs> don't worry. I'm just going to slowly take my time getting around. <laughs> You know what? What? We're so close to end game. I'm gonna delay my painting so that we can finish this. If you want to do that, it's fine by me. Okay, we're so close. I just feel like it would be a a, a silly thing to to cut it when we're so close to the end. <laughs> How do you know it was a slide before we told him? Suspicious. <clears throat> um, am I supposed to go up to the projection booth? I don't really know where yes. I'm supposed to go. Uh, you need to view the slide that you got from the package, um, so we'll have to turn the projector on. Oh boy, time to block and ban somebody okay but i did want to become famous <laughs> and v ruined my one chance did you want to buy because oh, i don't want to spend money on that <laughs> i mean who doesn't i know some people that would probably do that yeah it was like super fast you know, I only am a good mod when it comes to being mean to people. <laughs> she's, a, she's a good mod when she's talking directly to me. <laughs> Otherwise, she's like, it's nap time, Terry. <laughs> it's love. I'm joking. Okay, so um, there, uh, if you look up toward the fronter of the... Did you say the fronter? <laughs> The, the more front of the um, projector, projector, projector. This is going I'm well. <laughs> you can flip the switch on. Okay, um, I see it now. And then you can put a slide in the front and then use the focus knob to focus. Blink. Hi, I was dropping by oh, to out. say hi. But I gotta go. Okay, thanks for popping by real quick, Caden. Yeah, still the, the light bulb burned out. Yay! I so bet that always happens. The power you actually do need to get into the back of the um, projector with a key and replace the bulb, which you have. Um, but the key has been lost, so you actually have to use the key machine downstairs to make a key that will fit. Of course, because that's a normal thing that happens. Yeah, but in order to find what what kind of key you should make, um, something in the projection room will give you a clue to that. We'll help you find out. Oh, so I had to find that first, huh? Yeah, otherwise you're not going to know uh, what kind of key to... It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. 
do 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 This cola can, that's probably what it is, right? <laughs> oh yeah. You're getting warmer. There was a key here. There was a key here. There was a key here. Yeah, so how can we figure out? Oh gosh, I don't know. Some sort some sort of pencil thing maybe. Whoa, like what? There was a key here. The frontal region exactly, Carly. There was a key here. I'm gonna stick it with my magic wand and gum. <laughs> flash I'm just trying to find the flash paper. <laughs> There was a key here. There was a key here. Is that ring thing not the flash paper? <laughs> it is, but you don't use the flash paper on that. Do I just use regular paper? Oh no, you don't. You, you have a pencil. Oh, uh, I was grabbing the wand instead, wasn't I? Yeah, you were grabbing the wand with the the gum on the end. <laughs> that would explain it. Okay. So I don't know if you want to draw that real quick if you got like a piece of paper handy um, or take uh, with your phone, but um, you got to make a key that looks like that. Douglas Hyde, yes, the frontal region. <laughs> the frontal region! Okay, okay, Nancy. Okay, close the book, Nancy. <laughs> no, don't open it again, Nancy. <laughs> ah. Can you imagine if people acted like how Nancy acts when we play as her? Like, spin, you stand in the middle of a room and spin around a lot, and <laughs> open and close so over and over, that kind of thing. I think it'd be so funny. <laughs> You could probably make a video related to that. <laughs> I probably could. You, like when Nancy navigates in uh, Midnight in Salem, like if we were to recreate that, that'd be funny. I need a coin. If only I had a coin. Oh, I do. Mark out. You got a coin. So basically, what you'll do is you'll work uh, left to right. Um, to pick the uh, the notches that you need. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to see <laughs> which one makes sense. <laughs> Oh, for the first one? Yeah. I believe. That's good that you do. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the chat right now, by the way, so. Oh. Anna, she said, were you not purposely grabbing the wand? <laughs> no. <laughs> it makes sense, though, because the pink on the end looks a lot like an eraser. <laughs> I don't know which one of these would go first. I had the picture of the key. Um, I'll, you can do it. You can do it. I believe. So it was like each individual like mark its own each individual bump its own uh... No, they're sometimes grouped into twos or threes. Right. I think like the middle there with the key is like the I or the J. I don't know which one that is. The so I, I is the second one, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. 
Just trying to see this. I guess it would be this one first. Uh, then the the eye. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I said I am watching. Oh, okay. Always watching. Watching. Always watching. Then maybe that. And then we try it out in the machine. No, that was I, Carly. They flopped the other way. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Oh, God, it's so hard just to get the projection room. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as hard as Midnight in Salem, though. I will take your word for it. <laughs> Yay, it was right. Yahoo! Okay, officer, and then you have a fresh sweet. bulb in your inventory, yeah, so you can swap out bulbs. You also want to take that so slide close. that's in there. I, just I took the slide. Uh-oh. Officers coming. Well, that's great. I'm just trying to open up my chat again. <laughs> okay. So what did you say about the bulb? Oh. Uh, you can swap the bulbs. Also, when the uh, police come into the room, hide. I just had to put the bulb in there, right? Yeah. Well, if it isn't the SLPD's Yay. detective. I, f I was found by the police. You can still get a front row oh, no. seat for the demolition. Yeah, you gotta hide. They're I... making the sweeps. Okay, officers, this is our final sweep. In a matter of minutes, this building will be nothing but a pile of rubble. I would maybe just hide first and then work on the bulb. Okay. I just don't know where to hide. Oh, maybe I do. If I can click there. This is where I would hide if I could get well, there. The SLPD's favorite nosy detective. Well, right this way, Miss I think I found the right place, but since she decided to look at something instead of hiding. <laughs> yeah, you have to okay, click officers, into like the right part of the, like the right hand part of the, um, cabinet. It's very finicky. <laughs> like most things in this game. Yeah, like most things in Nancy Drew. Well, if it isn't oh the boy, SLPD's we're officially an end game. Detective. Right this way, Miss Drew, you can still get a front row seat for the demolition. <laughs> this is where I would hide if I wasn't looking at an empty box. Okay, officers, it's so street. interesting, though. You can do it. No, don't close it again, Nancy. There we go. Okay. Now we wait until they leave. Okay. They See left. anything, Dino? Sarge. Okay. It's now locked. we can look at the two slides that are important to look at. Okay. By flipping on the light and putting in the slide and focus, focus until you can read it. Let's go out to the lobby. This means everything. We immediately burst out and start using the massive... Exactly. So you have a total of three slides, um, and you can look at all of them. That was the one, the first one you got, and then you got two more. 
Dear Harry, how's tricks? Not that I need to ask. I've seen the papers, and I know you're dazzling the workers, the crowds wherever you go. I see your letter, and I must say I'm very intrigued by your plans. The Thompson character sounds slippery indeed. If you want to disentangle yourself from him, and you had the opportunity to do a good deed at the same time, I say bravo. What a windfall for a thrilling young artist to inherit 50% ownership of a thriving theater like the Royal Palladium. But uh, who is this mysterious beneficiary of yours? A magician, I assume? But where in the world did you come across a woman magician? I've never even heard of one. Is she talented? Once again, your generosity is unsurpassed. I commend you, noble heart, and look forward to seeing you at the Princess in Montreal. Uh, it will be a suspic auspicious reunion. Only best. Uh, okay. Okay. We're at end game. Ah, oh, it's so blurry. Oh, there goes the focus thing. Oh. Let's go get it. Oh my gosh, there's a voice changing thing. And also, Testing. there is... One, two, three, a tape recorder on? that plays. <gasps> My Remember gosh. right when she first got kidnapped? Yep. That's what we heard. And then magically the focus dial just comes rolling right out after I push those things back. <laughs> Here you go. I was hiding from you. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what the knob was saying. I believe it. Yeah. Am I supposed to do anything with the voice thing, or just look that it it's there? That it's there. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I don't... Where's the focus dial go? There we go. It goes closer to you I got it. than the I got switch. It. Okay. Another secret passageway. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> A secret passageway. This totally in makes. In the projection room. <laughs> in the switch box. Whoa! I should switch the power off. Yeah, Nancy, switching off the power was the most important thing for you to do right hey, now. Nancy, I've been looking for you. <laughs> So, if you look at the power switch box, the there might be... Oh, holy flip that I have just jumped. Tomorrow, really Why? Was Joseph? Yeah, I forgot that this happened. Touch a friendly knob to make sure you've found all the evidence. True that. Yeah, I, yeah, I literally just, um... I literally, but Joseph, literally just... There isn't going to be any tomorrow. Thanks for shouting out, Paige. Hi, Paige. Hey, anyway. Paige. Really cheer things up, don't you? Look, it's too late to save the theater now. I know you don't want to hurt Maya, or you wouldn't have kept encouraging you me to find her. Do you think the premiere will sell out? The police think the building is empty. You've got to help me, or we'll all be smashed to bits. Oh, Paige, uh, when you have a second, I uh, we'll I tagged you in a tweet. The They're going to knock it down anyway. Please, we don't have much time. Don't tell them, Nancy. Uh -huh, I'm definitely not snooping around your room. Okay, time's, now time is ticking. Well, I I can't get to the switch box. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Not um the power box. It's like a... Um, I can't remember if it's like a light switch or like a power plug thing. I see. You it was, got it. It was an outlet. You got it. Oh. oh, oh, Nancy, make sure you close that first. That's really important. Why is she like this? I just don't know where it. Oh, there's a ladder right there. <laughs> <laughs> I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. 
I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. I must have the key somewhere in my bag of tricks. Mm. Why are you making that noise? This uh I must so have the key annoying. somewhere in my bag of tricks. Keep looking around this room. Oh. <laughs> she makes it sound like she has it. <laughs> yeah, she does. It locked. It locked. It locked. It locked. Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the following. Papers aren't super important. You can. I see. You can read them um, if you want to, but. Uh, that was one. Okay. Why does she not take the papers with her? I don't know. Why does she have to close the safe while she's trying to escape with her life? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me these things. Yeah. So basically, to sum up the papers, um, must have the it just goes to show that J.J. Oh Thompson God. did not the theater fully, must have the key um, and that bag of uh, Nicholas's great grandmother, whoever she was, Louisa Falcone, she um, she did own a portion of the theater. I must have the key somewhere in my. I can't believe this. Useless. I hope she tosses them out after she uses them and they're not useful. Nope, they they all reappear back into your inventory. Oh, you're in. I am in. I accidentally opened the door again. Oh. Cause I don't know how I got turned around. This is Not useless. So fast, Detective. Joseph, please let me pass. I can't let you do this, Nancy. It's definitely not in her bag of tricks. <laughs> The bad guy. We're going down in a blaze of glory. Joseph, you can go down in a have blaze to of glory him. if you want, but Maya and I are not coming with you. You cracked your last case. When it finally lets Joseph, you touch your inventory. Far from over. Now step aside. It's all over, man. Ah, now punch her, Nancy. Dear Bess, I still can hardly believe that Joseph ah! Poking with the gum. Was my kidnapper. He says he planned Poking to kidnap with the Brady gum. With the idea that Simone could use her Hollywood connections to save the theater. But when Maya entered the dressing room, he panicked and grabbed her instead. You saved it. Plan B was to stall the And yet I don't feel accomplished. <laughs> you don't. I guess he's been at the I don't care about the landmark. He just couldn't imagine Yeah, but you saved Maya's life. Oh yeah, she's great. <laughs> wasn't cut out for a life of crime, and pretty soon things were spinning out of his control. Simone's publicity stunts didn't help. At least he was courteous. <laughs> Welcome for not actually fighting Maya. <laughs> when you in court. that room, before you like run around to the other side, um, if you look to your left, you see her like locked in this like cabinet thing. <laughs> well, you know, whatever. She'll be fine. She can hang out there. She'll be good. Brady donated <clears throat> half of the theater to the St. Louis Historical Society. 
Together with Haddock, they should have this place restored to its original glory in no time. Not such a happy ending for Simone, I'm afraid. Well, see, here's the problem. I was too busy focused on closing doors and safes while a building was going to collapse on me that I could not be bothered to find Maya. Literally such a waste of time. I, 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 I get it. Like when she's trying to be sneaky, but she just outright admits to looking through stuff anyway <laughs> to the person she's snooping on, as well as leaving everything just very obvious that she went there because she says it outright. So, what's the point of <laughs> closing up everything again if she's just gonna tell everybody this is what I did anyway? <laughs> and yeah, Kat's right They're in that room too. And you can pick it up and like whack it against the thing that Maya is trapped in. And Nancy just goes, It's useless! <laughs> oh, Nancy, just use your muscles for goodness sake. <laughs> Why would that even be a thing if it doesn't do anything? I know. It's to waste more time. But possibly like run out of time. It's like they try to do everything possible in those last like three minutes or whatever. Well, the t time's clicking. They try multiple get you to run out of time. <clears throat> but yeah, you did it. You finished another Nancy Drew game. Yay, me. Now I only have, I think, one game I'm actively playing on stream. There you go. <laughs> it's like they were probably okay with destroying the theater with a missing girl inside. Well, we found her body. <laughs> So we just left Maya in there? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's fine. fine. It's fine. They're not going to demolish it, so it's cool, right? She still has that one slice of pizza left in that pizza box. She still has one of her shoes. She's she's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, see you later, Maya. You can, you can see yourself out, Maya. Do we ever hear from Maya again? Uh, nope. Oh, well, I guess she died in the theater. <laughs> She never makes another appearance in the series. Well, she just got she just got locked in that room and was never heard from again. But Nancy yeah. was very very uh, focused on finding her for those three days. But after that, it was whatever. Yep, that was it. She has air. It's fine. <laughs> she can eat the pizza box after she finishes that one slice of pizza left. Mm. It's great. We did it, and we only we saved did. one time. <laughs> Good job. We so we did. What's that? You cut out again. Oh, I said we did final scene in two sittings. That was it. Yes, we did. Yes, That's awesome. we did. We'll turn off the display capture because we don't need it no more. Yeah. One day, a magician goes to pull a rabbit out of the hat. It's Maya. The hat is destroyed. The magician. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Good game. Well played. Thank you. All right. Well, that'll be the end of this uh, edition of V Bud Key makes uh, this even better. Uh, the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody had a good time. They enjoyed themselves. I hope everybody has a wonderful day ahead of them. I thank V Bud Key for joining me, of course. Thank you for having me, of course. I appreciate you having you having been here in the voice chat, and I appreciate everybody that came out and hung out for however long they did. <clears throat> it's well appreciated. Y'all are awesome. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, as I said, and a wonderful week ahead of them. Uh, do you have any parting words, uh, V? <laughs> Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you again. I look forward to whatever game you choose next. And uh, have a good day, everybody. I'm going to go paint the room. I'm going to go work out. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Nancy Drew forever. Bye. And we'll just uh, do the bye command, and then we'll call it good. Oh, we are the boys of the chorus. We hope you like our show. We know you're rooting for us, but now we have to go. Have a good day, everybody, and be Bye. good to yourselves. Bye. Enjoy your shower. Be safe. Bye. <laughs>